Hey guys, today I am going, it's Wednesday, I'm going with my mother-in-law to show her the house that we are, we fell in love with, um, and we just want to see what she thinks about it. Like I said, in a year to two, it really depends on the value of our house now. Some people are like, why don't you move sooner? It's because like, why would I pay out of pocket to move sooner? For that price of house when if we wait a year or two when we sell this house we'll get a whole lot more and our mortgage will stay about the same I don't know if that makes sense so like we have a budget of like what we can move now and then the house we want is a little bit more than that but in a year or even two this house's value will be so much when it goes on sale then we'll be able to start building and it won't change anything so it's basically like, why in the hell would I, I don't know, spend the money now to live in that house when we're getting so much back from this house if we wait? I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and we have one other neighborhood that we're going to keep in mind, but we really, like, this is really like our dream is to live in Bridgeland for the next 10 to, or next 15 to 20 years. Then retirement, we're going to build on like our own land, our last house. I don't know if that makes sense. Um. That's unless we win the lottery, then we might do that earlier. But there is another neighborhood in the same area. It doesn't have all the same amenities, but their lots are really huge. Like I could have chickens on them. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, it would be about almost $100,000 more. So yeah, that's like if our budget went way up and then if that was to happen, then we would go look at houses out there. But for now... We know we love this builder. We know that in Bridgeland, in the next year or two, we could move into this house with this builder that I showed you guys in the video um, when we were looking at houses. So I'm pretty sure this, I don't, I mean, it's always great to think, wow, if our budget went up, but then at the same time, it's like, I'm not counting on it. Um, I have a list of questions, things you don't think about when you first walk through and you're just like, ah, oh. so I have a whole list of questions I have to ask them. I need to take a bunch of pictures for Justin so we can figure out what it is that we really liked and that we didn't like. And I'm gonna show my mother-in-law. So that's what we're doing today. The weather this morning, it's like all the crazy weather we were supposed to say yesterday happened this morning. Like our power went out for like four hours. So like my hair is doing crazy things because I couldn't blow dry it all the way. Like it came back on, but I'm like, there's no point. It's so humid outside and rainy. Um, and it was like raining sideways really hard, crazy winds, and now it's finally like dying down. Hopefully it's done. But uh, we got all that crazy weather this morning. So anyway, I don't know if my mother-in-law would want to be on camera. I don't know, we haven't, I haven't vlogged in front of her yet. The first time I vlog in front of somebody, I feel a little weird. <laughs> I don't know, I'll ask her, but um, I'm definitely gonna show you guys all the pictures. Hey guys, so I am home. I didn't even like, me and my mother-in-law were talking so much and just like going through the house and then I took her, just because we like looking at houses, um, to look at the, I showed her the other demos we looked at um, that kind of led us to make the decision on that one. And I never really, like I took a second to show you guys outside the house, but there wasn't really a point where we would vlog, I guess. I don't know. It just didn't come up. So I was like, it would be weird just to be like, let's vlog just to vlog. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah. So she really liked it out of, I showed her some of the other ones we looked at and she liked the one we picked too the most. Um, and she already picked a room. <laughs> we were, she was joking that she, like, she picked her room. Um, the one that has the long hallway, if you guys saw the video. I'll... Um, insert pictures. I'm going to insert a slideshow. It might be kind of, some of the pictures might be weird looking. Just bear with me guys. Cause like there was a lady that was like, the sales guy wasn't there that he's like, you know, let's do whatever. There's like a lady. And I don't know if it was like, cause she wanted to like talk to us cause she was lonely or what, but like they tend to not follow you around those demo homes. Um, cause they have cameras everywhere, but she was like following us around. And I was like, oh, this is awkward. Like, so some of the pictures are weird and they're vertical, but um, some of you guys have asked to see like pictures of the house since the video was like, you know, weird and choppy too, because I felt weird filming. It's not my house yet. I don't know if that makes sense. So um, yeah, I did take those pictures. I'll show that to you guys now.
<laughs> he was so interested a second ago. He was that tiny once. You wanna eat? Just dropped Justin off for a haircut. I'm gonna go in five and below while I wait for him. I haven't been in here since they opened, so. seen on TV. I got that at the Dollar Tree. Everything is five dollars or less. Shoes are really cute. Little sundresses. Oh crap, they even have water shoes. This is cute. Is this like a cover up or is that one? That's cute. How cute are these shoes? Got all the makeup they have wet and wild, wet and wild, wet and wild. more wet and wild stuff than I seen in the store. Fusion, profusion, profusion. Stuff. They even have kettlebells. This is five pound, but they have like eight pound back there. Weights. Oh, it's frozen stuff. These are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It's a bit of a ripoff. Okay, guys, are you ready for the tiniest haul in the world? literally two things i went into the five and below where justin's getting his haircut and i've been in there before but it was like when they first opened before i went like cruelty free and stuff so i didn't know anything about profusion and i've seen people say they have profusion there they had a ton of profusion like a ton um i probably would have bought more but not this paycheck um i'm waiting to see if this guy on craigslist is going to hold on there's justin Anyways, I'm going to see if this guy on Craigslist is going to sell me this storm doggy door thing. And so, without further ado, I found Wet n Wild Mascara. Hi, Justin. Hi, boo. Are okay. you vlogging? I am. I'm doing the tiniest haul in the whole history of hauls. I literally found two items. I found this. I'm hating, absolutely hating every mascara like I find the cruelty free. So I decided to give Wet n Wild a try, um, and it was on sale for $2.99. It's five times the volume for, um, I guess, just bigger lashes. I don't know. We'll see. That was like $2.99, and then they had these little Profusion palettes for three dollars, but they were on clearance, so it was a dollar fifty. I found the only one that wasn't smashed up and gross, and I stuck my finger in it. <laughs> knowing I was gonna buy it to um, swatch it and make sure it was really pigmented. I'll do a swatch of it when I get home. But yeah, that's that. Okay guys, I did the swatches. Look how freaking awesome that is. It pigmented. And it's very creamy too. Like a lot of the Profusion stuff I love. Super creamy. And I basically did it in the order it's in the palette so y'all could tell. Uh, that's really awesome. I might go back and buy different colors, but yeah, 
want to swatch that in my tiny teeny itty bitty haul of two items okay so that is this is what it looks like and i found it the clearance section so if you have a five and below oh this is i would totally pay a dollar fifty I mean, like i said it was a dollar fifty and i'm gonna go back i would pay it again i'm gonna see if they have other colors because that is just so gorgeous y'all okay can i sound any more texan justin has some mike and ikes what, are you filming this? You are milking it. You can't eat candy. Oh, Lord. It's all over now. Here comes the big beast. You can't have candy. Look at those eyes, though. They get so doughy and loving <laughs> when there's food involved. This is the most loving you'll ever see her eyes. <laughs> That's okay. You must stray puppy. See, I've lived on this street for six months. Had to scrap for food and fight. You're allowed to be a little food obsessed. It's okay. <laughs> Ralph just stick his big neck out there. <laughs> he licked you. He tried to take it out of his mouth at this point. Oh, just so gross. Don't want to make out with you. That's not right. Uh, nope. Nope. I am going to call it a day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We are dreading tomorrow because the HOA stuff. I, I could I could talk about it now, but we'll just save it for tomorrow because I'm just doing laundry tomorrow. So I'll tell you about the drama tomorrow and what we're so not looking forward to. And we already decided if it goes bad that we are going to go split a big brownie at Logan's Roadhouse, um, minus the marshmallows, because I can't have marshmallows. Yeah, so <laughs> that's when we're like, if it goes bad, we're just going to split a brownie, let it go. Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow, bye!